Hello friends, this is the MC um, and this is my quick review of Bell Lane Artisan Coffee Roasters Moon Dust Coffee Beans and firstly I'd like to say a massive thank you to Medicine, one of my viewers who sent this coffee in to me and he has a channel on YouTube so anyone who wants to check that channel out I'll leave a link in the description below so let's take a look at the pack now, it's got a nice um, award there, Fresh Food Service Quality Food Awards 2017 winner. It says Moon Dust Espresso, a decadently dark blend of Colombian, Brazilian and Sumatran coffee beans. Give rise to a formidable taste with a hint of chocolate and a caramel finish. Hand roasted in Mullingar, County Westmeath, and there's the date um, roasted there, the 27th of August 2018. The weight of the bag is 250 grams, and the best before date is the 15th of August 2019. So they put round about a year on the um, best before date on this one. And that is it for the pack. There was a little bit of confusion with this pack because there's a label over a label and when it, when we took the label off it's a different coffee under the, the description so I'm not entirely sure what went on um, with the packaging of, of this coffee. Another quick thing to just mention quickly if I can get the bag I'm trying to get the bag open. At the bottom of the bag, I don't know if you can see that, but there's quite a lot of debris in the bottom of the bag. There, uh, get it to focus. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but really a lot of particles at the bottom there, which I've not really noticed there um, before in a bag of coffee. I just thought I'd mention that word, I don't, it doesn't actually mean anything. So, if we take a look at the beans, nice quality, sort of medium to dark roast. But, just um, put the light on there to get a better look at them. So, as I say, a nice... They're all a sort of uniform size, even though there's um, three different types of beans in there. And a pretty even roast as well, I would say. Um, firstly, let's say the aroma is, it's a sweet and chocolatey um, aroma. It's slightly earthy with the caramel there too. It's quite a complex but subtle aroma to these beans, I would say. And have a quick look at the ground coffee. Quite a reddish um, look to this. And when ground, that nice bitterness comes through um, with a slight spiciness added um, to it as well. Appearance of heat um, in the aroma. So taste wise it's a creamy and chocolatey it's sweet with a hint of toffee or caramel and there's a subtle hint of spice too which lingers at the back of the mouth in the aftertaste that said it still seems to me like there's something missing it's just lacking something um, but i'm not quite sure what there's no real bitterness and maybe that's what's missing a nice bitterness with this coffee um, to grab your attention and although there is a sort of complexity there I just find it a bit boring but I still enjoy drinking it and it's a nice coffee to drink any time of the day it's quite an expensive coffee this one I think it was 650 euros um, and it's one of those where you can probably get a coffee of similar quality and taste cheaper elsewhere maybe even in the supermarkets 
So, a pleasant enough coffee, but it just doesn't arouse the senses for me. So it scores a 3.7, a 3.5 out of 5, um, an average run-of-the-mill coffee. And a lot of these coffees now are suffering because I'm sort of looking for a bit of character and complexity in coffee. And as I say, this is a perfectly fine coffee, but it's just a bit bland for me compared to some of the other coffees I'm drinking um, lately. So, I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any other coffee from Bell Lane Roasters. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.